Hi everybody, I'm Ron Chera, host of Pheasants Forever Television. You know the ringneck pheasant is a popular and beautiful game bird in America, but ringnecks don't just happen. The success of ringnecks is due in part to weather and nature, but also to the hard work of a lot of people, conservationists, landowners, farmers, and our political leaders. This is their story. In 1982, a handful of pheasant hunters decided it was time to do something. Do something to help their beloved ringneck pheasant. So they brainstormed a conservation organization and named it Pheasants Forever. Today, the organization consists of more than 115,000 members, consisting of 700 chapters scattered through America. Good morning, Pheasants Forever. Pheasants Forever is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the protection and enhancement of pheasant, quail, and other wildlife populations in North America through habitat improvement, land management, public awareness, and education. Pheasants Forever empowers chapters with 100% decision making ability at the grassroots level to improve wildlife habitat. That means volunteers achieve local habitat results through Pheasants Forever's unique model. Chapters deliver habitat through grassroots relationships with farmers, ranchers, and landowners. Chapters participate in local habitat projects working with farmers, ranchers, landowners, and natural resource agencies. Each year, Pheasants Forever chapters complete more than 25,000 projects, benefiting 250,000 acres annually. Since 1982, the organization has spent more than $200 million to complete 300,000 projects across the nation. That work has benefited more than 4 million acres for wildlife. Habitat, habitat, habitat. Pheasants Forever's goal is pretty simple. In one word, habitat. Habitat prevents farmland soil erosion. It cleans up water and happens to create a great home for pheasants, quail, and other wildlife. Pheasants Forever's habitat efforts help pass along land stewardship and hunting heritage values. The Federal Farm Bill provides wildlife habitat and natural resource opportunities on 50 million acres of America's environmentally sensitive land. 50 million acres. A key to the Farm Bill's success is Pheasants Forever's role in Washington, D.C. Your actions in support of sound policy and programs over the years is the starting point for conservation. More on that in a moment. But first, let's take a look back and see if we can learn something from Farm Bill history. Back in the 1950s, the government created the Soil Bank Program. The government paid farmers to take land out of crop production and put it into soil building crops. During this era, pheasant numbers exploded. But when the Soil Bank Program eventually fizzled, so did pheasant numbers. In 1985, the federal government added the Conservation Reserve Program to the Farm Bill. CRP, as it's known, allowed farmers to take highly erodible land out of crop production and put it back into grassland habitat. CRP creates several kinds of habitat. Wild fields, buffers, and filter strips. CRP prevents soil erosion, improves water quality, and also creates great wildlife habitat. Farmers get annual payment for their CRP, while hunters get improved habitat and vastly improved pheasant numbers. Look at this. Look at that.
Most of the time, Pheasants Forever members see habitat work out in the field. But much of PF's toughest work really starts far from the farm. Pheasants Forever spends more time than you might think in the nation's capital. Congressman, we wanted to present this award to you for your outstanding work on the Conservation Reserve Program. The Pheasants Forever and Quail program Forever program staff members champion. meet elected officials to voice their concerns for wildlife and habitat and the farm bill. CRP is one way of taking part of your farm, doing some good things with it, and putting money in your pocket. And it's just, it's a survive mode. Mm -hmm. Often, Pheasants Forever brings along landowners who speak of their success with federal farm bill programs like CRP. The reason we're successful here in Washington is because we're successful back home. You know, we're successful because of our ability to work hand in hand with farmers and ranchers, real stewards of the land that want to do good things for wildlife. And our chapter network and volunteers that are out there working with those same people. Those successes help us educate policymakers here in D.C. The more state and nation leaders we can meet, the better. We relay messages about soil, water, wildlife, quality of life, youth, and of course, hunting traditions. Everybody smile. Pheasants Forever chapter contributions also help the organization get in front of legislators who change and create conservation policy. Dave Nomson, Pheasants Forever's governmental affairs specialist, spends much of his time on Capitol Hill testifying at congressional hearings or meeting one-on-one -on -one with key congressional staff. He fights to ensure programs are fully funded in appropriations discussions. So just spend a few minutes with PF you. staff uh, also works to build Johnson coalitions Johnson. with other like-minded groups. Deputy. Conservation legislation created in Washington, D.C. ends up implemented on the ground with local farmers, ranchers, and landowners. And PF makes sure that policies created in D.C. are functioning properly for landowners to implement in their farming and ranching operations. In short, Pheasants Forever takes plans. your issues and as hunters, farmers, and conservationists well. directly to D.C. and addresses those issues with all levels of government, from the president to senators and representatives to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Some of the older folks talk about the soil bank days and, and what pheasant numbers were like, but you know the good old days for pheasants are right now. And the challenge we have before us is to ensure that future generations have access to the quality pheasant hunting that we've seen the last few years. The CRP is working, WRP is working. Uh, these programs that we've put in place have been very successful, very well received. We're making a difference and uh, we want to keep them and we want to expand them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate so much. Help so us much. help you, the local chapter uh, and conservation stakeholders. Our efforts in Washington, D.C. will continue to create the tools and programs to complement and augment your local habitat efforts. Ready? Together, we can continue the traditions of conservation and bird hunting. Way to go. Part of the fabric of the culture we all enjoy and value as Americans. It's remarkable to be involved in the political process, and yes, your voice is heard. Whether you send it in by email or do it in person, your voice is heard here. Pheasants Forever needs you to be a voice on conservation as a knowledgeable voter. As few as 10 people contacting an elected official can make a difference. We're all elected by folks from our area, and we respond to them. And so it's very important to have those folks come out here and have that interaction because uh, that's what is going to convince people that uh, they should support what we're trying to do in the Farm Bill and, you know, support CRP and support the programs that have gotten us to where we, uh, we are today. Hi, I'm Dave Nomson. To be successful in Washington, D.C., we need your help with two things. First, have your chapter support PF's Legislative Action Fund. And secondly, get engaged in the process by email or letter, meetings with congressmen and your senators. Your voice can make a difference in Washington, D.C. To contact us, talk to your regional wildlife biologist or contact me at Pheasants Forever's national headquarters. We, we gotta work it this way, okay. east and west. Look it, look it, look it.
Pheasants and quail forever. That truly is our goal. Thanks for watching.